effective versus ineffective price ceiling. An effective price ceiling is a government-initiated price that is set below the equilibrium price. The price ceiling is set below the equilibrium price. The reason it's called a price ceiling is it is the highest price that can be charged by law. And so a price ceiling, again, is set below the equilibrium price. If a price ceiling is set above the equilibrium price, it is considered to be an ineffective price ceiling because the market price, which is lower than the ceiling price, will be the price that's charged in the marketplace. $5 will be charged in the marketplace for the product, and the price ceiling of 7 then is ineffective. However, if the government sets a price below the equilibrium price, this is considered to be an effective price ceiling. An effective price ceiling is a price that is set below the equilibrium price. If the price is set by the government below the equilibrium price, do you notice that the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied at this price ceiling? This causes a shortage in the marketplace. But it is still effective because it's the highest price that businesses can charge the consumers by law. And because it's below the equilibrium price, we call this an effective price ceiling. Effective doesn't mean it's perfect. Effective means that it is doing what it was supposed to do, and that was keep the price low for consumers. There are challenges, though, as you can see and you'll see later, that the first challenge is that it causes a shortage in the marketplace. The quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied, but it is effective because it is the highest price that can be charged by law.